Hello guys and welcome back to our glorious Draconian Empire and I think it is well past time that we have a new council meeting. We have taken it, taken over a new city from the reach. We have lost good men in the process and um, yeah we're gonna have to discuss what we do uh, in the future. Now a couple of things that I would like to know. Now first of all I actually want to take the time and uh, commemorate uh, our brave soldiers who have perished in the war and uh, I have named some places in the world after these uh, well brave men now first of all we have the wolf's blood right here where Eden direwolf has died I'm gonna read that description of the wolf's blood these plains are soaked with the blood of the great commander Adam direwolf who was slain in personal combat by Goyard Morrigan during the siege of the arbor his death was avenged by Cor Valerion riding his mighty dragon Greyfang. Now, of course, because his name was Direwolf, we named these floodplains were basically the river. It's basically this huge river that consists of all of these other smaller rivers. This is known as the Wolf's Blood. Um, now, because of this, because we have named well the the river over here, or basically the estuary, we need a name for all of the other rivers who feed into the wolf's blood. So we have this one big river over here, that I called River 1. We need a name for River 2, which is over here and already goes together with River 3. And then we have, quite further away, we have actually River 4, that's uh, coming all the way from this part of, of Longcrest. Um, and then also, uh, quite right before the arbor feeds into the wolf's blood. Um, so we're gonna need names for all of these four rivers. And also, we're gonna need a name for this bay right here. Um, that is right up in, well, before the arbor. And I'm actually going to show you guys the resource icons. Just so you can, well, get a better understanding of what is over here. So we have a lot of wheat here. We have sheep. We have crab, iron, fish. And obviously there's a little bit of bananas here, there's deer, sheep, but I don't know if that's really that important for these rivers. So, um, please come up with names for these rivers. Now, it's it's not necessarily that, you know, you find a name for River 1 or something. Just give me four river names and then I will pick um, which place would fit best for them. If you have something that is, you know, that you say is particularly just for River 3, then obviously state so in the comments. But other, if you just have four river names, that's fine as well. I'm going to pick uh, where I want to have that, that river or which river I want to have named um, after this. Now, the second um, crew we have lost is the crew of the Sea Pike with its commander, Agon Pike. And we have lost him over here in the Shining Shore. So I'm going to read out what this says. During the Battle of High Garden, a hundred brave draconian sailors under the command of Admiral Agon Pike gave their lives for the good of the Empire. Every new moon at midnight, the shores around High Garden are lit with big bonfires to light the way for the brave souls who perished in the war, so that they might find peace in the fires of the eternal flame. So obviously at midnight, during new moon, there is no light. There is no light to guard them, these, these, well, these drowned souls uh, guide, guard them, guide them uh, back to uh, to the shore. So that's why we lit bonfires to uh, keep them in our memories. Um, so yeah, High Garden is obviously not ours yet, but we're definitely gonna take that next episode. I could go forward and do that just now, but I just don't feel like doing that. Um, and lastly, I need one more thing uh, for you to name. So basically, we have these four rivers, then we have this bay, and lastly, this sea. So it's only water areas today, but, um, you know, I, I, I don't feel like all the other play or any of the other places needs a name right now. So please come up with a name for this sea and this bay and obviously the four rivers. Um, also, I would like you guys to leave in the comments uh, your suggestions on what we should research next. Now, we don't really have that many options anymore. We could go for education and astronomy. That would give us the last upgrade to our dragons and a new ship, although I'm not sure how important that it would be to us. Uh, the other things, I don't know if they're really all that useful. We could obviously go for banking, which would allow us to build the Iron Throne, if that's something we would be interested in, but I guess I would have to find a different name for this because obviously the Iron Throne already exists. Um, lastly, we have kind of the mentoring area, although mentoring doesn't really yield any benefits, so it's basically just these four. I've already started metal casting, 
Um, but then we could go, which would, well, well the, the Belt of Noah is already built, so that's that's not possible. It would provide us with a forge and a workshop, so that's useful, I guess. And then we have machinery for crossbowmen. We can't build River Run, we can't build the Moon Door, but we would get fast movement on roads. We could also go for physics, uh, for trebuchets, but honestly, I've I've never built any, uh, any other... Well, any other siege equipment, really. We have our dragons, and that's why I rely on. So I don't think we're going to build them anyways. But we could get the water gardens, uh, which is something I would very much like to build, actually. But it's not that important. It's only important if we actually get a city uh, settled in the Hidden Valley, which you guys did not seem so interested in last time when I asked. But uh, that would be obviously something we could do. Or lastly, go for steel to get long swordsmen uh, and an armory, which gives us extra ex experience for the units, which is not that important. But yeah, long swordsmen are probably quite cool. So this is uh, what you should leave in the comments as well, next to your suggestions um, for these things. And lastly, I want you guys to uh, use the straw poll that I've provided, hopefully um, early enough this time. Maybe I'm even going to put it in the description, but usually I just comment. Anyways, so the straw poll will lead you um, to a vote where you can decide whether what, what what we should do with the arbor and tumbleton now with high gardens since high gardens the capital we cannot raise high gardens so what we're gonna do most likely because creating a puppet is just useless we're gonna annex high garden and we have enough um, happiness to do that immediately but what are we supposed to do with the arbor and tumbleton uh, respectively so there's gonna be four options you're gonna uh, you're gonna be able to say raise arbor annex arbor and the same thing for tumbleton raise Tumbleton or Annex Tumbleton, and please just vote on what you think makes sense. Um, so that's that. And lastly, uh, one thing that I want to ask our dear scouts, actually, if you have any names, if you have any suggestions for things right here, I'm actually very much talking to um, Matthew Storm. He's not dead yet, but I feel like he will die soon. So if you have any suggestions for maybe this area or this area right here, or maybe the sea between, or this this mountain range, something. Um, please tell me, and then I will place a label right there. And also, that this is just a lot of thing, but this is you know not for everyone. Not sure if um, what is his name, Kemp Champ? I think you are the one with the Blood Riders. Hopefully that's correct. And um, Tarragon Bloodblade. If you want to become a knight, because the Thraki obviously don't wear armor, so I'm not entirely sure if you actually want to become a knight. Uh, just let me know, and I will upgrade you. If not, then you're just going to stay uh, basically the weaker unit, but it you know makes more sense. Okay, so I hope um, you guys know what to do, and I hope that you will also participate. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.